Hey guys, Jonas here, the founder of EdgeLotter. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how we convert bonus bets into cash at over 100%. Some of our betting course videos go into bonus bet conversion, but in this video, I'm gonna give a little bit more insight into the system and how that works um, and how you can get the most out of it as well. So my background, for those not familiar, I've got a quant finance background. I've been a professional derivatives trader for, for many years. Uh, I did a stint at, at Bet365 for five years where I was, I was a generalist in play guy, but also essentially the head of in-play golf for the Asian time zone. And I've also been betting successfully for, for many years. So key facts about bonus bets. So you've, you've no doubt seen the bookies out there with an unbelievable amount of promos. There have never been more as at right now, February 2022. But um, the bookies continue to use these promos as a, as a way to acquire and, and retain customers. And a key reason is that the punters out there on, on the whole are very inefficient at using them. And we'll go through a mathematical breakdown of Edge in a sec. Um, but all you need to know for now really is that because members, the general public, are, are very inefficient at bonus back conversion, the bookies are just like, how good is this? Let's just dish them out everywhere. So there's a really uh, special opportunity for us right now. Uh, a key difference, so the, key, the main difference you need to be aware of with a cash bet and a bonus bet is you don't keep the stake. So if you have a cash bet, a cash bet of a hundred dollars on a on a two dollar chance and it wins, you've got two hundred dollars of cash. If you have a hundred dollar bonus bet on a two dollar chance and it wins, you've only got a hundred hundred dollars. So many people are aware of that, but they don't really care. They see bonus money or bonus bets as just like free money, free hits, and hence the reason why they're very inefficient on the whole. Just quickly on our results, so historically we've, we've tipped over 2,000 bonus bet opportunities, primarily in racing and golf. We've, If you look at the, the numbers on the whole, we're converting bonus into cash at 106%. The profit on turnover, if you're backing them with cash, is 14%. So there's, this is pretty spectacular. I don't believe there's anyone in the market who can get anywhere near these numbers. Um, and again, that's a very big sample. The other thing to note here, which many might not be aware, of is we just assume sports bets prices for all the bonus bet tips, whether they're in golf or racing elsewhere uh, or, or other. If you shop around, you'll get around 8% higher price. So, but we like to be conservative with all our results as opposed to the many other players out there who assume top price, best case every time. So how do we convert bonuses into cash at over 100%? Short answer is we're finding value in the eight to thirty dollar price range. Sometimes we'll the shortest we'll go with a bonus bet tip is six fifty. Um, the biggest we've gone is eighty one dollars, but most most of the ninety percent of them would sit in the eight to thirty dollar price range. The mathematical short answer is we're finding opportunities where the bookies are at least a dollar over fair value. And I'm going to go through that in the next slide. So. This is from one of our betting tools, but um, let's just say the bookies the bookies ten dollars, and the true odds are nine dollars. If that's the situation, so you can see it's a dollar difference. The expected conversion of bonus bets into cash is zero percent. So as it, sorry, a hundred percent. The loss on conversion is zero. If you go up up to twenty dollars um, and nineteen again, if it's n minus one, you're converting at a hundred percent. You're not gonna get many opportunities to do that. You're not gonna find five when the bookies, uh, or the, well, you're not gonna find the bookies five when true odds are four. That's a massive percentage difference. However, the bookies are very often out in that 10 to $20 price range especially, which, which gives us a starting point for, for the big opportunities. So then the next question is, okay, that's great. I'll just pop back to the previous slide, true odds. Well, that's great. But how are you finding, um, how do you even define fair value? Well, we've got a couple of key ways that we do it in racing. We've got a price and volume model that does that. It's been proven to be bulletproof over a long term. Golf, uh, we also use price and volume model, but we've also got a proprietary model that looks at, um, uh, it, it runs simulations in golf and, and that helps us out a lot. In other sports, we've got various angles, but these are, in racing and golf, they're kind of our key. That's about 95%, even 98% of the bonus bet tips are in, in other racing or golf. Some general theses uh, in and amongst all of this as well is that we have a, we have a bias against popular players and teams. Uh, the, the, the real simple way to look at that is if, if there's a popular player, they tend to have a, an imbalanced amount of, of money backed uh, on them and the bookies will go shorter. They might even anticipate that flow. 
So the value is generally not on favourites or on popular players or teams. We've got a bias against heavily backed players and teams as well. So the question then would be, how would you, how do you know if some a player's been heavily backed? Well, maybe they've been leading for the entire game or tournament or, or whatever. So just having a bias against that. Bias against leaders, um, these two are somewhat correlated. The, the leaders generally on the whole tend to be, um, to be backed uh, in, an, in an imbalanced way again. And the bookies know that, so they have to shorten their prices so they can balance their books, etc. Then the final point here is, as a general thesis is we do respect market moves, but you need to be aware of manipulation as well. Betfair, many uh, you know assume blindly that it is true price, it is the fair price, and, and there's some validity in that. However, Betfair does get manipulated uh, by big syndicates, by bookies at times, the, the medium to smaller ones typically. But um, yeah, respect market moves if you're aware, if you've got some awareness for the, the manipulation risk as well. So then remember, so we've got expectancy, that's great. Jonas, we're converting at 106% long-term, sounds good. But if you're betting on $8, $30 pops, surely there's a risk that you're just gonna get drilled in a two week unlucky period. Uh, very good point and so that's why I sort of go back two parts to professional trading and betting one finding quantifiable edges with positive expectancy second part is managing variance so how do we manage variance I'm glad you asked so without we've got really three key three key parts to this with the bonus bet tips in racing they've, they've got a negative correlation with the racing cash tips and that's simply because if the the cash tips are winning the bonus bet tips on the same race can't win if the cash the bonus bet tips are winning, then the the cash tips are, are not winning. Two horses can't win a race, so there's this nas, na, natural negative correlation, which is nice. Uh, the other way to, to look at it is the front ends or the back ends of the fields tend to outperform. You'll have you'll have these um, these the, these the fluctuations during the day will be or the 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 way that days pan out is the front end tends to outperform or underperform and the back end's the exact opposite. So we've got a natural shock absorber here, which is nice. Staking, we've got um, the, the quarter, half, full unit rules that we suggest based on the price that we tip. So that's just betting 101, having a staking plan. Uh, and so that's number two. Number three is specific to golf and in how we get, there's a very high volatility in pricing. So you might have two or three golfers, $30 into 10 after the first round. And then you've got a couple of players after that first round who have gone $10 out to 30, for example, and then you can back them at 30. So you end up backing the whole, you're not the whole field, but you might back five players in a, in a tournament, all at sort of 20s, for example. So there's nice, that's a nice uh, variance reducer as well. And the next slide sort of looks at that. This is a golf tournament, a very typical golf tournament in four players and this is just bad fair charts you can see how there's just high vol you can you can lay that the shorts and, and get them on at the at the bigger prices so the point there is this high volatility which is great for us so summary of how we do it yeah number one expectancy we find value in that eight to thirty dollar price range second part is the management around variance talked about the negative correlation between the front ends and the back ends i.e the cash tips and the racing bonus bet tips Staking plan, having that in there, and ideally finding high volatility sports when you can where you can back multiple runners. Cool. So that's the end of the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a like. We're always trying to get good quality content, uh, betting content to the market. There are a lot of traps out there, so we we'll, we appreciate all the likes we can get. Um, if you'd like to get notified of new videos, feel free to subscribe and you just get a ping when, when a new video goes up. If you've got any other questions, you can email uh, down below. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye.